Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do the end of year book tag. Um, I've seen everybody do it, so I figured it was probably time for me to do it, essentially. I am a follower in this point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dive into the questions. So number one is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Um, and by the way, I'm reading from a book. That's like, I wrote down the questions, that's why I'm looking down, okay. Um, so yeah, there are two books that I started this year that I would love to finish. The first one is Howl's Coop Moving Castle by Diane Wood Jones, which is what I'm currently working through. Um, so I just recently started reading it, and I would love to have it finished by the end of the year. Hopefully. I It's like taking me like a minute to get through it right now, but I'm trying. And then the next book is I'll Give You the Sun by John D. Nelson. I have been trying to read this book all year and I don't know why but I've started it like it's like right here you can't really see it but I have my bookmark right there um and I want to get through it I just I don't know why it's taking me forever so I'm hoping to finish this by the end of the year as well number two do you have any autumnal books to transition into the end of the year um yes so I have a couple of Christmassy I guess books or like end of the year books I don't know um, but the one I would love to read and pick up to in like as the year transitions or whatever is uh, 10 blind dates by Ashley Elston this seems like a fun little like holiday contemporary read um, and the synopsis really like makes me feel like this is gonna be kind of like a funny book too so I would definitely love to have this read and use this to transition basically. Number three, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Yes, so I'm still waiting for Children of Virtue and Vengeance, which is the sequel to Children of Blood and Bone. I read that book last summer and it was insane. It was a big book. I was not expecting it to, f like, I was not expecting to finish it so fast and then I also was not expecting it to like it as much as I did. So, with the ending that we are left with, I'm intrigued to read the next book and see what happens. Um, I'm nervous because I feel like the next book is going to be even bigger, and I'm not a big book reader. Like, that came out weird. But, like, me and big books do not happen often. I, like, get really intimidated by them. Also, I'm just like, am I really gonna, am I gonna be able to sit down and just read this huge book like that? Um, but for some reason with this series or trilogy or whatever it's gonna be, um, it's not super hard. So I'm intrigued to see what happens next in the series and I'm excited. Plus, I just think the covers are so beautiful and yeah, okay, moving on. <laughs> I think that's the only new release I'm excited for this year. Um, there might be others, but I, I think this one is the one I'm most excited with. Um, number four, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? So the first one is Who Put This Song On? Nope. The first one I have is Who Put This Song On by Morgan Parker. Um, I read the synopsis of the this book and I related to it so much so i decided that it was a book i needed to read i haven't picked it up yet but i'm hoping within the next two months month whatever uh before the end of the year that i can pick it up and see how i like it the next book i have is <laughs> never night by jay Kristoff. <laughs> i um would love to read this by the end of the year or at least start it by the end of the year yeah i did not think i was gonna get to this anytime soon but then circumstances happened so now i kind of have to read it and i am intrigued because i know how much people love this trilogy and i know how wrecked they were when it ended so I'm a little nervous. Also, I've never read a Jay Kristoff book, so that's a whole nother thing. I've also, like, this is my first kind of dive into 
adult fantasy as well so just all the things are happening for me with this book and I'm a little nervous because yeah <laughs> um but yeah I would love to get into this I love these covers like I know a lot of people love the uh UK editions or the European editions but I actually really like these covers better sorry in advance if you're offended but don't be <laughs> like the other covers are pretty too I just I just prefer these ones but yeah okay putting this down <laughs> all right the last book I would love to read before the end of the year is this time will be different by Misa Sugira um I would love to have this read by the end of the year because it was one of my most anticipated books of the year. I just, I still haven't gotten to it. <laughs> so I would absolutely adore if, like, it, if I could get to this. Um, because the cover is pretty, the story is really intriguing, and yeah, I would just really love to get to it. Number five. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Yes. I don't know which one it could be. It could be honestly any of the books I read within the within this last half of the year. I don't want to name names because I never know anymore because like I've had books this year that I thought were going to be some of my favorites be di so disappointing and then I've had books this year that I've read be so surprising. So I this year has just been really weird with books and me so I just I don't want to name names or anything because I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know what's gonna catch my interest and make me love it and make me hate it, honestly. Like, examples. So I read All We Could Have Been by T.B.E. Carter, and I had made that one of my most anticipated books of the year because I thought I was gonna love it, and then I read it, and I was really disappointed about it. But then I, um, one, I read Four Dead Queens, which I was not expecting to love that one. I was expecting it to just be okay. And then The Beautiful, which I, again, I was not expecting it to love to love it as much as I did because of the fact that, like, I love vampires, but I'd never read a Rene Audier book before. Also, it was a, a hi historical fantasy, which I'd never tried to read before. So I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about those two books, and I ended up loving them, and they're one of my most favorites of the year. So just anything can go this year for me <laughs> with any of the books I read next, so who knows? S number six. Have you already started making plans for 2020? I think so. So I haven't made any solid plans just because I haven't wanted to sit down and think about it yet because it's a little overwhelming. But I think I've made tentative plans in my head of what I want my year to look like and what I want to try and accomplish for next year in regards to my channel and my reading. So I think that's all I've got so far. Um, and I have some ideas. But other than that, I haven't really sat down and planned anything out yet. That is the end of the year book tag. Um, I'm going to tag Teresa from Just Bookish Things. And anyone else who wants to be tagged can make the video. I don't know who's done the tag yet out of all my friends and who hasn't. So I'm just going to say I tag any of you who are watching and want to do this. And yeah, so if you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, concerns, questions, whatever, uh, please comment them down below. If you're not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and see a leaning emoji down below and steal the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. Also, if you want to keep, if you want to get notified about when I post my videos, you can go ahead and click that little bell down below, and it will let you know the next time I post a video. And forever on, um, <laughs> you all are sunflowers, a world full of weeds, and I hope the end of your year is going well. Bird, 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 bird machine. Check.